okay i don't have a script for this but um i also don't have any um art so you're just gonna watch me do snow topped i guess um also heavy spoilers for cobra scales worth if you do want to read that without spoilers i suggest you turn back leave this has been your last warning goodbye i might also swear sorry go <laughs> okay um for those of you still here let's talk about cobra scales worth um specifically sneeze because sneeze leap um i I want to, I have a lot of things I need to say about this man, and I think if I don't say them, I'm going to explode. So let's just get started. First of all, Sneezleap and Aspenheart are like childhood friends, just, they just are. I don't think I ever really make that clear, but that's the point, because he's supposed to be like the mysterious, is he evil, is he not? Like, there are moments where he's like really evil, and the moments where like you're questioning, and um, obviously the plot is, you know, murder the deputy, so... Um, if it's, if it's revealed they're friends, you're probably gonna be like, yeah, well, that doesn't sound very, um, weird. And then we have his children. His two children that were stolen from him by Sunny Pelt. You can have your own opinions on Sunny Pelt. You can do what you want with Sunny Pelt. Sunny Pelt did effectively just kidnap her own kids, leaving their father heartbroken. But you can decide if she's a villain or not. You can do that in yourself. The problem comes when Sneasley finds out they're his. So immediately when they arrive at the border, he does not know they're his children. But then after being with them for a while, he's like, wait, these are my kids. And he's already acted like a total asshole to them. So, so like acting just perfectly nice is also, it's not only weird, also not going to work. Like he doesn't know them. He hasn't seen them in seven and a half moons. He really does not know them anymore. So, and, um... He tries to say things, but he goes terribly wrong. He's like Crowfeather. Crowfeather actually tried to be a father, basically. So he tries, but... And whenever he tries to say anything meaningful, it ends up coming off as completely condescending. And then look, Cobra Paw gets upset because, you know, it sounds like he's just blatantly being an asshole towards her. And, um, yeah. I don't have a script. Sorry if I just randomly pause. So Cobra Paw hates him. She thinks Sneezleaf also hates her. He does not. He's trying his best and failing miserably. And then he has his kids with Morning Lily. Not not more with Sunny Pelt. Sunny Pelt is long dead by this point. Fish Kit, Doe Kit, and Dappled Kit. Fish Kit is named because um, Cobra's Paw's warrior name is going to be Cobra Scale. Um, I don't know if he learned this from Trout Star or he suggested it to Trout Star and Trout Star like somehow knows that they're his. So she's like, okay, fine, I'll make that Cobra Scale's warrior name. And he's going to do the same thing with Fish Kit when he gets older and be like, hey, uh, can you make his warrior name Fish Scale? And she's going to be like, oh, yeah, sure, because it's Trout Star. Trout Star is the most reasonable cat out there. Sometimes. <laughs> and so when Cobra, Cobra Paw gets saved by Sneasleep a bunch of times, but she doesn't know it was him because, you know, she got saved. She doesn't actually know it was him. The first time is when she gets attacked by a dog and almost dies. Um, Sneezleap saves her life, but by that point, she is unconscious, so she doesn't know it was him. And then the next time is um, when Trout Star attacks her because Ice Whisker thought she tried to kill Fish Kit. And because, like, Ice Whisker didn't know. She just came upon the scene. Um, uh, spoiler alert. No, 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 no. That was Ice Whisker. Ice Whisker attacked Fish Kit. <laughs> it was Ice Whisker. And she blamed it on Cobra Scale. She, and then she insinuated that it was Sneeze Leap to Cobra Scale, who by this time is extremely suspicious of Sneeze Leap. She knows what she was doing. And then she insinuates that he abuses his children. Just because she knew Cobra Paw would believe it. Cobra Paw. Then, avenge. So then, um, after she becomes a warrior, uh, there's the whole thing of Ice Whisker. She catches her out alone, tries to kill her. Sneezleep saves her, and again, she doesn't know it's Sneezleep because she can't recognize his voice in her like state that she's in. But all she hears before she passes out is, "You don't dare! You dare lay one claw on my daughter." So. And then she uh, wakes up and nobody is going to explain that. She doesn't know who it is. And then she confronts him. This is right, right after Ice Whisker's exile. Because she still believes um, Ice Whisker that he is a terrible cat that abuses his children. Because even though Ice Whisker did turn out to be a traitor, she also hates Sneasleep. So <laughs> she, she has no reason not to believe that Ice Whisker was actually telling the truth about that. And she says something along the lines of, how can you treat your own kids like that? And Sneasleep interprets that as her having found out that she was his and he apologizes saying i shouldn't have treated you like that and cobra scale is just so taken aback she's like i beg your pardon and he's like yes it is true i am your father and then cobra scale's like that's not what i expected 
at all. Not at all. Well, I'm out of time, so goodbye.